Hey guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're all doing well. I hope your month of November is going well so far. I do have a ton of empties to share with you today, 61 to be exact. I went through and counted all of them before I started, which 61 is an insane amount of empties. This is all from the month of October. All of these are Halloween themed wax melts. And um, it makes sense because I did give myself three very large melting baskets throughout the month to try to give myself as much variety as possible. And as I was going through my basket, I did kind of sort out things that were older, tried to use those first. And then as I was going through at the very end of the month to um, switch my melting baskets, I realized that I still had so much to go through and I was like, I don't wanna store this for another month. So that's why I did take this first week of November um, and which is why the melting basket is up a little bit later or the my melting basket will be up a little bit later and the empties is a little bit late, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, I just, I really needed to try to finish up as much as possible because I did not wanna to have to store all of this another year. So it has been an amazing melting month. Like this has been just such a good month for melting. I feel like there were so many favorites and yeah, just, it was really good. Uh, as I melted throughout the month, I did write down my thoughts. Um, and then before I started the video, just because I have so much to go over, I did try to just like read through everything that I wrote and try to just re-remind myself of the things. Um, but I will be pretty brief because we have a lot to get through. Before I jump into the full empties, I wanna just talk about some things that I didn't get around to finishing, but still melted and enjoyed. And um, these two loaves, I'm actually going to probably, I don't know, either save my thoughts fully until I finish these, but I did just wanna mention quickly that I did start both of these, and these are both going to be rolled over for this next month. They are Halloween themed, but I just don't, necessarily want to let these sit another year. These are from July of 2022 um, and August of 2022. So I don't, yeah, I just don't want to let these set another year. Both are amazing scents. And in fact, none of these, I don't think either of these have really lost a ton of scent, but I've just been trying to be on top of that lately. So um, this first one is Haunted Bake Shop, and this is Pumpkin Sugar Donut and Bake Shop, which the bake shop scent on its own, I really enjoy. And then paired with the pumpkin sugar donut oil, which is a scent that I melted a couple times in different um, vendor, vendor blends throughout this month. I have a ton of different scents here that have the same pumpkin sugar donut oil in it. And I realized this month how much I freaking love that oil. I did not think I liked it that much. And I believe that that's the same oil that is in Carbs with Ghoul Friends from Rose Girls. I love that oil, you guys. It, this is just such a really, really good blend. It smelled much more spicy on cold than it was in the warmers. Like it was very, very creamy and sweet in the warmers. I love the scent. Like I said, this is gonna be rolled over. So um, I won't say all of my thoughts, but I could talk about that all day. It's really good. And then this one is Hungry Ghost. Once again, I'll roll it over. It's pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. This one is also phenomenal. I feel like you can't go wrong with a um, pumpkin pecan waffle blend with extra added bakery. It just makes it even better. Um, and I'm not even like that much of a fan of like the original pumpkin pecan waffle candle from Bath and Body Works like on its own. I'm not that much of a fan because it's overly bready, but the sweetness that's paired with it in that scent is just like makes it so like delicious and like edible and almost like a pumpkin cake it's really really good so that one also will be rolled over and hopefully finished up maybe next month or at least hopefully a good chunk of it is used up um just because i don't want to be sitting on a large amount of wax for another year this one you guys oh i love this one this is voodoo from that smell good shop the notes are patchouli cedar and spices and this is just like it almost smells because i don't know if it's the cedar and the spices that are doing it or the maybe the patchouli is doing it to me this smells like a a very earthy cologne on like a man like 
it must be the cedar and the spices. The spices almost comes across as like a, um, like an aftershave kind of a spice or like a shaving cream. Just like it kind of smells like a guy with like a five o'clock shadow. And he's, I don't know. He's like maybe a little bit like hippie-ish. I don't, I don't know. Like, um, I don't know. It kind of, this is such a weird, weird thought. But it kind of reminds me of like, like what a grungy dude, like a cute grungy dude in the 90s would have smelled like. Kind of like earthy and like a little like, it's not a dirty patchouli. It's not a dirty patchouli because I feel like that like scares people away. Um, but it's not like an overly like spicy patchouli. I mean, the spices in here make it spicy. I don't know how to describe this well. This is just a scent that you have to smell it to like enjoy it, I think, or like to know what I'm trying to get at. It's it's good. It, it's good. And Tom even is like saying how much he enjoys this blend every time I melt it. So this is probably probably going to be rolled over a little bit into the next month and I'll probably be able to finish this next month. It's not like a huge bag or anything, but when it comes to that smell good shop, I only use one cube at a time in my warmers. They are tiny, tiny little cubes, but that is literally all you need for that smell good shop. One cube and you're good to go. It's just performed so good for me. Um, so yeah, definitely pick this up if you like patchouli, I guess. And then I do want to talk about this one. This is actually a scent that was in my last month's melting basket. Um, and I, I melted it this month. So I just wanted to talk about it. This is Autumn Campfire from Dust's Homespun Scents. It is a house blend of pumpkin, apple cider, gingerbread, spices, marshmallow, and campfire. And that I really thought that this was going to be much more bakery heavy. But to me, this came across very, very smoky campfire with just like a hint of like a pumpkin apple scent. Um, this was not a favorite of mine. I'm going to pass on these last two cubes to my mom or my sister and see if they enjoy it more. Um, but when it comes down to like preference that just was a little bit too smoky for me. So this will be passed on to them. All right, so on to my giant pile of bags here. This is all vendor wax. And the first vendor I wanna talk about is Britta's Creepy Treasures. I have a ton here and most of these are from the Exorcist sampler. I think this is all of the Exorcist sampler since I did finish, which I'm very happy about. So let me just talk about what the Exorcist scent is baseline. It is Palo Santo patchouli and vanilla bean marshmallow. So it's a very like sweet, creamy, um, Palo masculine kind of earthy scent. It's very, very delicious. I love it on its own. And then this was just a sampler paired with like different things. So the first one, it was paired with sea kelp and salty sea air. And on the back, I wrote, this was a very fresh version of The Exorcist. It was okay, but just personally, I'm not a big fan of Salty Sea Air. So that probably wouldn't be one that I would repurchase. But if you like Salty Sea Air, maybe you'd like that. The next one is The Exorcist paired with Tobacco and Bay. And I said, I actually enjoyed this one a lot more than I expected. The Tobacco and Bay is typically a very overwhelmingly strong oil on its own for me but because of the like creamy notes within the Exorcist, like the vanilla bean marshmallow, I think it really helped tone back that tobacco in Bay. And I ended up really enjoying this one. So that would be a possible repurchase if I saw it in the future. The next one is paired with Nag Champa. And I just wrote, this was a very earthy Exorcist scent. Uh, scent. Um, yeah, Nag Champa, I had that in another scent further down here from Brita's. And Nag Champa is just, it kind of reminds me of like incense or something like that you would smell in like a head shop kind of a scent. So that's just kind of more like a hippie version of The Exorcist. Um, I have The Exorcist paired with Snuggle. And this one I said I was surprised how well it worked together. I didn't, I initially on cold didn't think that those would go well together. But I said it was very nice, but it was, it was definitely very strong on the Snuggle scent. So it was mostly a scent that I just put in my bathroom, one cube in my bathroom, and I enjoyed it in there. Um, this one is The Exorcist paired with coffee. And I said this was just a nice blend. I didn't, I guess I didn't have much to say about that. Just a nice blend. Exorcist and coffee went well together. This one is um, The Exorcist with pumpkin buttercream and pumpkin pecan waffles. I said this was a pumpkin version of The Exorcist, of course. 
This one was an apple version of The Exorcist, which is apple cider donuts and brown sugar. So if you want a pumpkin exorcist was the last one. If you want an apple exorcist, <laughs> so it was this one. This one here is The Exorcist with sugar cookie and sweet and creamy. Um, and then this one I said, this reminded me of the other British creepy treasure scent called Babashook, which is another like Palo, I think it's a Palo Santo or patchouli, like extra, extra creamy blend. So very similar. It was just like a very, very sweet version of that. And then I also have The Exorcist with caramel kettle corn and Danish butter cookies. And this one, I said it was like a sweet, salty kind of a vibe. I said I enjoyed it. It was, once again, a sweeter version of The Exorcist. And then finally, this one is Exorcist with crackling birch and waffle cone. And I said this was the most unique one of the bunch and personally my favorite. It was... Um, just, I don't know, just like very, very unique. I melted it in my bedroom one day and this that was a scent that I kept going in and being like, what was this exorcist blended with? And I was like, oh my God, that's really good. So it was like a, a subtle like tree kind of exorcist scent. It just was really good. I like that one. That one would be the one out of all of them that I would repurchase. Um, it would be that one with the um, crackling birch and waffle cone. Definitely that would be the, the go-to if I was to repurchase any of those. Okay, moving on. We've got a few older ones and a few newer ones. So a, a three that were from 2021, so definitely needed to be melted. I have Annabelle, and this is Monster Delight Nag Champa and Roasted Pine Cones. This one, I said it was mostly that earthy Nag Champa scent. Um, it was definitely very earthy, but very nice. And next one I have is Crypt Keeper. And this is Dragon's Blood Patchouli and Toasted Marshmallow. And Dragon's Blood is a scent that has orange, I think, in it, um, like blood orange and patchouli. So this was a very patchouli heavy scent. And it was also very strong in the Dragon's Blood. I could definitely pick up, it was mostly like an orange patchouli, like an extra Dragon's Blood type of scent. Um, I, I didn't get a whole lot of the Toasted Marshmallow. I'm sure it was there sweetening it a little bit, but it was very, very patchouli heavy. Um, this one is switched. It is Mac Apple Juicy Pear Patchouli and Marshmallow Bomb. And I said that this was a very unique combination and it was very, very strong. So I did melt this in my office multiple days. And I remember every time I melted it being like, wow, that is a boomer. So i um, very impressed with that. And then I have three from this year that I wanted to melt just because they sounded so unique to me. So the first one here is, I think one I was most excited for. This is What's Your Favorite Scary Movie? And it is peanut butter cookies, caramel kettle corn, and sugar cookie. And I said, so yummy, all caps. This is a good, strong performer with a very like salty, sweet peanut butter scent. So it's almost like if you had a warm peanut butter cookie out of the oven and you sprinkled like giant chunks of like sea salt on it. Um, and like drizzled caramel over the top. That's kind of what it smells like. It's re it was really, really good. I like that one. That would be a repurchase for sure. The next one I have here, um, I don't know if this would be a repurchase, but I really enjoyed it. This is called It's the Great Pumpkin and it's almond biscotti, pumpkin buttercream and sugar cookie dough. I did really, really enjoy this one. It, possibly I would get it again, probably in like this size. Um, the last one I'd probably get in a larger size if, if I, but if I saw it come back again, <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. Um, but this one, I said it was so sweet, very strong on the buttercream, um, and I enjoyed. So yeah, I, it there was something about this that was like almost like sweet in a way that I felt like a body care scent could be, um, but very lovely, very very like unique. I don't know. I haven't smelled anything like that. It was very unique, and I really liked it. And then this one is this is Halloween. It's cinnamon sugar cookie, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I'm not usually like a huge vanilla pumpkin marshmallow scent fan, but this made me like it again, I guess. So um, I wrote yummy, Britta's got a great bakery. <laughs> so it was a good bakery, I guess. I really enjoyed that one. All right, next we have some Rose Girls. So first I have Boo Spooky Castle, and this is Booberry, vanilla crunch donuts, and monster cookies. This was from last year's Halloween sampler, I believe. And I, I wrote on the back, I'm not a big booberry fan, which is like a cereal type. It's like one of those like um, Halloween, like 
Frankenberry, Booberry, uh, Count Chocula type cereal blends, right? So I said, I'm not a big Booberry fan. So this isn't a personal favorite of mine, but man, was it a strong performer. So if you want, if you like the Booberry fragrance oil and you want a strong performer, holy cannoli, this was strong. It was definitely like a, it's like a blueberry bakery type scent. I don't know. There's something about that cereal note that I just don't love, but it was, it was good if you like Booberry. The next one also from that sampler is Midnight Lace. And this one is bergamot, lavender moss, sandalwood, and vanilla lace. And this one I said, so strong. It lasted in my bedroom warmers for three days. I, I only ever turned this one on like at night before bed because it was like a lavender scent. So I was like, oh, I'll just like fall asleep to it kind of a thing. I'm starting to come around to lavender more a little bit. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, so I said it's like an earthy kind of dried lavender scent with a slightly like sweet masculine touch. Like the vanilla lace made it sweet, but then like that bergamot and like the moss and the must be sandalwood also kind of made it more like masculine. It was very unique, very pretty. I liked it. Um, I, I, pro I maybe get that one again, possibly. There's also a scent called like, um, oh my gosh, there's another lavender blend from Rose Girls that I melted previously. That's something about like something moon something moon in it it's not good night moon is it moon i don't know if i remember i'll le like leave it up here or something but there's another lavender blend from rose girls that i like so i think maybe rose girls has a lavender that i maybe should tiptoe more into because i'm not mad at it um speaking of lavender with rose girls here's another lavender blend this is october's and october's is green apple macintosh apple lavender and oak and I was kind of hoping that this would be similar to like that dried lavender and oak scent from Yankee Candle. That's why I picked this one up. It was not like that at all. Um, and I said, I wish that the green apple note was lighter or not there. If it was, um, it was too predominant and it turned this blend into an almost green apple candy with lavender. Um, it's not my personal favorite, but I was happy to try it and it got me outside of my comfort zone with lavender. So yeah um this one i do remember that green apple note just it just did something different to the blend where i feel like if it was gone and it was just like mac apple lavender and oak i probably would have enjoyed it a lot more it just kind of made it like i said like kind of candied so for that reason it wasn't my favorite and i also kind of wish that that last like midnight lace scent the um lavender oak scent or not lavender oak the lavender moss scent was in that blend like it was lavender moss oak and mac apple i think i would have enjoyed it even more than you know i don't know that's just my my thoughts but that's just personal preference i'm sure there's people there are people out there that are like oh my gosh that's the best right so you know it's just everybody's got the different noses um this one let me talk about this Woo, i did not have this in my melting basket i literally just hauled this but I wanted to melt it so badly. So as soon as I got it, I pretty much melted this. This is Carbs with Ghoul Friends. It's pumpkin sugar donut, once again, which is that oil that I love. Uh, cookies, bread, vanilla bean noel, nilla wafers, monster cookie, and marshmallow smoothie. So good. I got through this bag fast because I forgot how much I loved it. I guess I didn't forget. I knew I loved it, but when I melted this the first time, just being like, oh, I want to melt a little tonight. I was like, oh, I need to melt more. As soon as it like done it like like left the warmers you know that n next day i went to change it i was like i'm gonna put the rest of this bag in the house so i did i finished this up in like two days it was gone and then i was like oh no now i'm without it again so i couldn't help it that's just such a good scent if you've never tried carbs with ghoul friends i could not recommend that scent more that is one of the best rose girl scents i think out there um and also christmas even cookie land is amazing as well so both of those phenomenal scents uh, okay Another one, we have Big Witch Energy. This is a blend of espresso, which is the coffee scent from her that I prefer most from Rose Girls, and a secret witch's brew. I have no idea what is in that secret witch's brew, but I said it is a very lovely coffee blend, and I think possibly the secret note is like a caramel hazelnut scent with maybe like a hint of pumpkin. Tom and I both were like, I think this is maybe hazelnut. But I think that there's something extra sweet in here that's like helping it. And I think it's caramel. I think it's a caramel hazelnut, 
maybe with a pumpkin or um, like a hazelnut with like maybe a maple syrup. No, I don't know. I think it's more caramel, but very, very good. All right, next and last from Rose Girls, I have Salem. This one is pumpkin pecan waffles, campfire marshmallow, and vanilla sandalwood. I remember when I hauled this initially or first purchased it, I thought it was going to be mostly like pumpkin pecan waffles and like marshmallow with like a hint of the sandalwood note. Not at all. This is flip. This is mostly sandalwood. And I wrote, oh, wow, this was a blend. When I walked into the room, I said, what am I melting? It was so nice, very unique, mostly sandalwood with the other notes kind of helping like back it up and like add more sweetness. Definitely repurchase next year. So this is on my list for next year for sure. We'll pick up more of that Salem. That was so beautiful. It was like, I don't know, the, the sandalwood paired with like the pumpkin, it just worked in this beautiful way where it's just I walked in and it did smell like fall. It was definitely very like fall where sometimes I feel sandalwood scents can just become very like summery to me or masculine to me. But that paired with the other notes, it just was like, it was like a fresh, fresh, sweet fall scent. I loved it. That was good. I only have one here from Southbound Candle Co. This is Basic Witch. This is pink sugar, toasted marshmallow, campfire smoke, and sweet gooey marshmallow cream. I said this was a smoky marshmallow, pink sugar. I really enjoyed it and it was blended well. And that's coming from somebody that's not even like a big pink sugar fan. I feel like it was, yeah, it was just like really pretty and nice. And I possibly pick that up again maybe next year. It's not something that I would like need to get more of, but I, I did really enjoy it, especially for being a pink sugar blend um, and for being somebody that's a little bit like eh about those. It worked well. Um, I have two here from Dessa's Homespun Scents that I finished. I have Haunted Carnival, and this is a house blend of apple fritter, churro, hot pretzels, and caramel sauce. And I said this was like a nice bakery. I had no complaints about it, um, but it wasn't like necessarily like a huge standout for me. It was a very pretty like sweet, spicy type of bakery. Not super spicy, but there's definitely like a spice kind of quality to it. Um, I liked it, but like not like a huge standout, but it was nice. And then this one is Haunted Doom Buggy. And this is also a house blend of charred mahogany, teakwood, sandalwood, and amber vanilla. This was just like a nice, like woodsy, earthy type of scent with like a little bit of a sweetness from that amber vanilla. Um, it was a light to medium. And I, I like that one as well. I have three here from Vintage Chic Scents, all of which are from 2021, October of 2021. So these are all old, needed to be melted. Um, because of that, I think because of the age, I think these were all on the lighter end. Probably that was my fault. But I have Christine and this is cherry cookie waffle cone blended with a dollop of whipped cream. I said, I think this might be a single fragrance oil. It kind of reminded me of the Circus Animal Stuffed Sugar Cookie from Salt Mountain Melts, possibly. But once again, this was on the lighter end because of the age. This one is Woodsboro, and this is enjoy a cozy blend of pumpkin bonfire, glazed cinnamon donuts, and gooey marshmallows. And I said this was a beautiful, like spicy, sweet pumpkin scent, but once again, light because of the age. And then this one is Loomis, which is pumpkin, coconut, clove on a base of dark bourbon, maple, and toasted oak. And I also said, I believe that this one is a single fragrance oil because I have smelled this exact scent from different vendors. Um, it's a really nice, unique kind of fragrance oil. It's definitely like woodsy, masculine, like earthy, pumpkin-y. Um, I really enjoyed it, but once again, light because of the age. I have one scent here from Empire Alchemy. This is Haddonfield. It is dry leaves, tree bark, fire roast and marshmallow and sweet pumpkin. And I said this was unfortunately very light for me. I could pick up like a leaf's pumpkin kind of sweet scent going on, but it was just, it was very light for me. So that was kind of a bummer. But once again, that was a little over a year old. So maybe my fault, maybe Empire Alchemy is something I need to melt sooner. I'm not entirely sure. Two here from Salt Mountain Melts. Um, the first one I just really quickly want to talk about, this is 100% That Witch, which is pumpkin cupcakes, candy corn, and cupcakes at Tiffany's, which cupcakes at Tiffany's is a, um, like a marble, like chocolate vanilla cupcake with toffee on it. Um, it's such a good scent. I've been really enjoying cupcakes at Tiffany's this year. 
I don't know if my nose changed or if there's something that changed about this blend or maybe an oil changer. I have no idea, probably not. It's probably just my nose. But last year when I melted this, I got this like very distinct like bubblegum note in here and I don't know why. And then I didn't pick it up again when it was offered this past year. For that reason, I like skipped it because I was like, that kind of was like bubblegummy to me. But then I melted this after the pre-order went by and whatever. And I was like, dang, I should have got more because this year I really enjoyed it. And it was mostly like an extra sweet cupcakes at Tiffany's scent. So I don't know. I, I would get this again next year if it comes back. I don't know what happened to my nose, if it just changed or something changed about the blend. I have no idea, but I really enjoyed that. It was a good medium to strong performer. Would get that again. I, I messed up last year. <laughs> I don't know. And then I have Coven. And Coven is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, and Powdered Donut. This was very delicious. I think I, I think maybe some of it, well, this is from 2022. Um, so I think some of the life has kind of went a little bit out of it. So I'm gonna roll over the other souffle that I have from the same date into the next melting basket as well, um, just so I can use it up. Cause it was just like a little bit lighter than I remembered, but still like very, very good. I wrote, you can't go wrong with this one. It is a lovely blend. And this was like I said, a medium like throw. So. I definitely want to use up the other one because I really enjoy that. If you like Palo Santo blends, I feel like Coven is just such a good one. Um, so yeah, that was great. I have two here I want to talk about from Teddy Bees, both of which were like huge wins this, this month. So that was great. Um, the first one is Creep Show. Creep Show is pumpkin sugar donut. There's that oil again. Mixed with marshmallow fireside type. So the Bath and Body Works dupe. Sugar cookie creamy cheesecake, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, and a hint of sweet spice. This was so yummy, you guys. I really liked this one. It was definitely not like as strong as the next one I'm going to talk about, but it was still like strong enough for me to be like, I want to get that again. So this will go on my list to repurchase for next fall. Um, I said I honestly really enjoyed it. This was like an extra, extra creamy with a slightly graham cracker toasted marshmallow note, kind of like a, almost like a s'mores type note on that pumpkin sugar donut. It's like if you had, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like, it's like if you had like, um, like a, like a dessert shark, what do I got? Charcuterie board, right? I'm probably butchering that. And it's like, if you put a bunch of like desserts on it and you have like cider donuts on it, um, and you've got like pumpkin, like that. Have you guys seen like those like Nilla wafer, like pumpkin dip this year where you like mix it with like whipped cream, like cream, um, cool whip. Have you seen those? I, maybe it's just me. I don't know. It's like if you had like a fall themed charcuterie, like dessert board and you had like marshmallows, like you're roasting marshmallows with it. I don't know. You guys, it was so good. I really liked it. So, um, yeah, I would get that next year. And I melted that mostly in my bedroom on my Yankee Candle, like low wattage Yankee Candle warmer. Um, and I think that my, personally, I found that I think my Teddy Bees does best on my lower wattage warmers and my smaller spaces. So um, that's where I stuck that one and it, it did great. This one I put throughout my entire house. And this one is always strong for me and I love this one. This is Witches Be Crazy. Um, and it's birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla. This is kind of similar to the Hungry Ghost from Salt Mountain Melts where it's like you take pumpkin crown waffles, which is like nice on its own, but not like crazy great. But then you like add all the sweet things and it almost turns it into like this pumpkin dessert. This is such a good one. I love this scent. Um, I said this is such a love and this was so strong even after years. Yeah, this is from October of 2021 and I'm sad to see it go, but I'll definitely get more. This will be offered again, I'm sure. Um, hopefully just on its own in the future because it was such a good scent. I'm definitely going to request this on its own again um, and I'll probably pick up a loaf of it because it's so it's so good and I feel like yes it's pumpkin pecan waffles but I probably could get around to just using that anytime anytime I, I don't know I just feel like it's a good bakery. Let me just super quickly talk about some of my stuff from the bathing garden here. Three things I didn't write any notes on um, but I'll just mention these. I didn't write notes and I don't remember these, but I'll just quickly talk about them. I have Boo. So I think that was maybe like a blueberry one, if I can remember. Crimson Mummy. I feel like that one was like an, I feel like it was like an amaretto or like a, 
I don't know, there's like a slight cherry scent, I think, to that one. And then this one was a whims wickedly whimsical autumn, and I think that was just like a spicy pumpkin scent. And then these two I did write notes on. This one here is Burnt Banana Brains. I said, so unique. This was a banana bakery scent, almost like a banana bundt cake with like patchouli in it. It made it like earthy and unique. I just really like that. I would definitely get that again. And especially if it came back in like a clamshell, I would get more of that. And then this one is pistachio pumpkin. And this was like such a cute little pumpkin shape, like a jack-o'-lantern shape. And I said, this was a cherry leaning pistachio scent with a true to life, like pumpkin, like a realistic pumpkin. But then you add in like a cherry kind of pistachio scent. I gave it an eight out of 10. So I, I enjoyed that one a lot too. And then I have um, my classic go-to for Halloween night. I did melt this also on Halloween night. This is Char Jack-O-Lantern. And there was something about it this year where I felt like it was different than last year. I felt like there was some note in here. It's a little squishy. There was some note in here that kind of reminded me of like soda, like, um, like a Coca-Cola or like a root beer type of like soda note. I have no idea why. I don't know why. It smelled slightly different than what I remembered that this to smell like, or my nose is changing once again. I don't know. Um, I still really enjoyed this, but I don't know if I'd pick it up again next year. I feel like this was such a staple for so many years. And I'm like this past year, I was like, something smells different. I don't know. Um, but it was still good. Um, and then this one here is London Mist Rising. And this is um, a jasmine scented wax melt like the depth very floral very 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 floral like jasmine white jasmine forward i loved it because i love jasmine um i'm sure there's some other things paired with this but it it like it's very sweet floral jasmine i put this in my uh, bathroom warmers and every time i'd go in there i was like oh i love it it's like kind of like spring scents in the middle of fall, you know, but I, I enjoyed it. Very, very pretty. I have one here from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is today's October 3rd. It is Palo Santo Toasted Malo and Sugar Cookie Royale. And this one I remember melting and just being like, I forgot how much I love this scent. It is so good. I said, so good. Classic favorite. Definitely repurchase. I just feel like you can't go wrong when it comes to like a Palo Santo blended with a vanilla like base. And then your girl has like a ton of Zape. I think I used, I think I used all of my Zape fall Halloween scents except for a couple, like maybe like three or four in clamshells. So all of my bags are gone. Uh, I think actually I might have a couple, like two more bags left. You guys know when it comes to Zape, the fall and like Christmas launches are like my two, like can't miss those anytime. They're so good. Um, I still have to film my haul for you guys for the Christmas launch, but that is coming. I'm sorry. I just been holding off on it. I haven't opened it yet. Just been sitting there. Um, but okay. So let me talk about the shape bags that had two pieces in it. I guess we'll do this first. And I have notes on all of these. So buckle in. The first one is Crypt Keeper. Crypt Keeper is Haunted Woods, Fall Spices, and Scary Tales. I said this was woodsy and musky, a very unique scent, and it reminded me of Boho from Scentsy. So if you guys have ever tried Boho, it's definitely kind of like an apple, like earthy, almost a scent that you would smell like if you walked into um, like an old, not, I don't want to say old and like a, like a, um, like an ant, kind of reminds me of like an antique shop, like an antique store, but there's like an apple scented candle burning somewhere. That's kind of the vibe that I got from this. I don't know why, but that's what I got. I have red rum and this is baked apples, cinnamon spice and brown sugar crumble. I said this was really nice, like a cooked apple scent. I enjoyed it. It was a medium performer in my house. I have Cabin in the Woods, and this is Crisp Apple, Warm Cider, Creamy Vanilla, and Caramel Drizzle. And I believe that this scent is the Caramel Apple Cider note on its own that is blended with Tinseltown, which is also blended with her fir tree. So if you really like Tinseltown, but you want it for just the fall season without the fir, 
this is the scent that you should get this is cabin in the woods yeah it's amazing i said it's an extra sweet and creamy caramel apple cider very very strong performer this was a very strong performer in my home and i really really loved that this is also a, a scent that's blended with the like earthy notes in halloween town which i believe i have halloween town here let me just talk about that because I, I know i have halloween town yeah so halloween town it's that caramel apple cider um so yeah caramel caramel cider autumn leaves and haunted houses so if you once again like the caramel apple cider that's in tinseltown or you've had this and you want that but like with some earthy notes with like leaves and stuff it's this this is halloween town <laughs> that's could i get more confusing you guys i'm sorry i hope you guys could follow that um i said you get an earthy sweetness from the leaves but then like that cider gives it like a very fall vibe i gave a um a medium performer so it was nice um okay back to the smaller bags i have poison apple and this was once again another apple scent so this is crisp red apples, sweet pumpkin, fall pastries, and sleeping potion. So this was a mostly tart mac apple scent with a subtle maybe hint of the pumpkin, maybe um, bakery a little bit. It's definitely like a subtle bakery, but it's mostly like that sweet apple with like, like a nice bakery, like a nice bakery behind it. But it's definitely mac apple heavy. So I really liked it. Um, I gave this one like an eight out of 10 throw so that was nice as well i have beetlejuice and this is dried leaves smoky bonfires and sweet vanilla bean this one i really really like i've talked about this in like my favorites and stuff this is sweet and subtly smoky um this was still um a very good performer but i noticed it was a little bit lighter this year so i'll have to make sure i melt it sooner next year or hope that it comes back and I can get it again next year um because yeah I think it, de it definitely got a little bit lighter over the year so you know that happens um I have a lot of notes on all of these so okay let's just go over this the first one is Haunted Hill Haunted Hill is Autumn Breeze Earthy Woods Tonka and Musk and I wrote so fresh and sweet but somehow perfect for the fall. This is an early fall day scent in Salem to me. So I guess I was picturing being in Salem for this. There's a general sweetness in the air, but still fresh and earthy. So it must be the Tonka and Musk. Well, earthy woods, I guess, in the autumn breeze. I just remember really liking this scent and being like, I hope this comes back next year. This would definitely be a repurchase for me. It's, it, it's not like... It's not like very fall. Like I almost feel like you could probably melt this anytime, but it it did just have like a nice like fresh sweetness. It was it was very good. I liked that one. Um, this one is the ritual, and the ritual is sage, rosemary, and fall spices. And I said this was a very underline unique scent. Definitely smelled the rosemary and like a smoky sage. And I said it smells like a witch's cottage very conceptual scent only would melt this during the month of october near halloween but i did appreciate the story that it told yeah i mean you can definitely smell the sage and if you guys have never like burnt sage in your house um it's like hard to describe it's definitely like a very like earthy strong smoky note um definitely sage heavy but then you get like the sweetness of like an it's like an earthy sweetness from the rosemary it worked very well together, but once again, like I said, kind of like, I don't think I would want to melt that necessarily around any other time but Halloween. So, but enjoyed that. This one is Hocus Pocus, and this is charred pine, dried fall leaves, and toasted marshmallow. This is one, um, Morrison Blue Lacey. I remember she said in a video like last year when she hauled this or melted this or something like that, she said that it reminded her of... Um, bonfire bliss from bath and body works and it, it, it i do believe that she's like right on the money with that i think it's a bonfire bliss oil dupe but bonfire bliss is a really great scent and i would definitely repurchase it was a very good performer in my house um it, this just kept going and going and going and going it wouldn't quit so i definitely repurchase this again next year i really enjoyed it um and if you've never smelled bonfire bliss before it's just like the most delicious like smoky sweet scent ever it's so good this kind of um hocus pocus kind of is similar to beetlejuice but i feel like 
there is more of um there's definitely like a tree smoky tree note in this and then this one is just like smoking sweet this is like smoky sweet tree smoky sweet so um yeah both great um okay i have oh, let me talk about this one it's another one that has sage that sage smoky sage note in it so this is the coven which is sage cardamom woody pecan vanilla and apple peel I said that this was once again such a beautiful, unique, dried, like spiced apple type scent, like an apple peel, but it was really a light performer. I melted this in my bathroom warmers and it was only like, if I hovered, I kind of got it and I loved it when I could get it, but it was so light. So um, it was like a three out of 10 maybe, um, but such a pretty scent. Just wish it had more power behind it. This one here is Spooky Hollow. This is sweet pumpkins, fall fruits, sugar cane, and vanilla. And this one is a mostly sweet fruity scent with like a raw pumpkin note in the background, like a pumpkin gut note in the background. It was an, like a seven out of 10 performer. So definitely like very fruity. Um, didn't necessarily give me like a fall vibe, but it was more like fruity, but it was, it was interesting. This one is a favorite of mine. I've talked about this a million times. It's Black Magic Chai. I actually have some more of this going right now. This is spiced chai, creamy caramel, sweet candied apples, and Halloween pumpkins. This is, reminds me of, um, they have a scent near me in a coffee shop called Apple, Ch Apple Chai of My Eye. Um, and it's like a chai tea latte with like a caramel apple scent mixed in. It's so good. This is, um, yeah, just delicious. I don't need to read what I wrote because I know what it's like. It's so good. Definitely recommend that scent. It's delicious. Um, very caramel apple heavy, very caramel apple heavy with like the chai in the background. This one here is Black Cauldron and Black Cauldron is autumn leaves, fall breeze, white pumpkins, cedar and sandalwood. And I said, I definitely picked up on like a pumpkin sandalwood scent. I just wish that this one was a little bit stronger. It was definitely a lighter performer. It was like a three, four out of 10 for me. Um, it was very, very pretty. I just, I wish I had a little bit more power. And then finally from Zape, I have Cookies and Scream. This is gingerbread cookies, gooey marshmallow, and campfire embers. And this was like a big bar, like a tube bar thing. I said this one really surprised me. It was a really nice and not overly spicy gingerbread scent with a marshmallow fireside note. So it was almost like um, if you took a toasted marshmallow and like two ginger, like soft, chewy gingerbread cookies and you sandwiched it between them and you could smell like the smoky campfire in the background as you ate it, that's what it smelled like. I would definitely repurchase that one again. I really enjoyed it. So um, I think Zape has a um, gingerbread oil that I personally prefer because the Hansel and Gretel scent from them for the Christmas release is also such a good gingerbread scent. It's not overly spicy. It's definitely very sweet, like bakery, chewy cookie kind of vibe. Very good. I have one Yankee Candle, like centerpiece warmer melt cup here. And this is Spooky Cider, Spooky Spider Cider. I don't have a lot to say about this. This was just kind of like a classic apple cider scent. It was not very strong. It was like maybe like a three out of 10 for throw in my bedroom, which is like that's a small space. And then I have five scents here to round up this empties. And these are all from Scentsy. I have Gimme Candy. And this one is like a butterscotch candy corn, very, very sweet rot your teeth kind of a scent. I melted this both days in my kitchen, surprisingly. And I, I just liked it. I mean, I think that this is in the current catalog. I might grab another one just to have for next year, but I'm sure it'll come back again. I could say that and be wrong once again, but... I really like it. This one is Ghostly Greetings. I love this bar. I have like a hundred of it. It is just like, um, I believe it's like patchouli and berries. It's definitely like a very pretty, like fruity scent with like a little bit of like a spicy patchouli in the background. I love it. I'll definitely get more of that because um, it's in my Scentsy Club and I won't take that one out. That's a favorite. Another one that's in my Scentsy Club that I'm not going to take out Halloween Town. This is um, cedarwood and cedarwood and maybe some other berries. It's very tree heavy. I love, 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 love this scent. This is such a strong performer. This one's a little bit lighter of a performer. This one's definitely stronger, but oh my gosh, both of those are scents that I will just never take out of my Scentsy Club. Those are pretty much two of the main scents that I would only, like if, if I could only pick two scents for my club, those would be it probably. 
I have Roll the Dice. This is also um, a Nightmare Before Christmas scent, like Halloween Town. A lot of people don't like this one. And I melted this one when I was sick at the beginning of this month. And I, man, I couldn't smell anything, but I could smell this. So this was actually like kind of my saving grace to be like, oh, my nose, my sense of smell isn't completely gone. So um, I do have another bar of this and I, I don't think I hate it. I think, I mean, it kind of just smells like, um, it kind of just smells like a, like a boy's, like a young boy's like Axe body spray. Um, I don't necessarily want it all the time in my house, but maybe occasionally I'll throw a couple cubes in the bathroom, like just to kind of, I don't know, just use it. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't love it, but it's not bad. You know, I don't know. Anyway, last one. This is Tom's favorite. He talked about this so many times this month. Every time I melted this, he was like, oh, I love that. So I don't know if I can get any more of this or stick it in my club, but I might have to just for Tom because he loves it so much. This is um, Sanderson Sisters Perfectly Wicked from um, like the Hocus Pocus bar. And this is like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry type. It is very cherry, like it smells like a perfume, like a cherry perfume, like a pretty cherry perfume. Um, I think it's a perfume, not a clone, right? I don't know. It's a, it's a body care cherry scent. It's, I mean, I keep smelling it. It's very, very pretty. So it's like a black cherry to me, kind of like a dark black cherry. Tom really loved it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and this also went for days and days and days. Um, this, uh, yeah, this was the long, I think the longest performing this or roll the dice, the hocus pocus or roll the dice, I think were the longest performing and then maybe Halloween town and then the last two. So yeah, all the Disney bars did actually really, really good for me this month. So that was great. But that is it, you guys. That was my entire massive, massive empties. I so appreciate you guys watching this. If you stuck through this entire thing, leave me a leave me a black cat emoji down below. If you guys watch the whole thing, I'm just curious because I feel like this was such a lengthy video, but I appreciate you so much if you did. I hope you're all doing well. I hope the start to your month of November is going amazingly so far, and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye guys.